Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've made a uh, video for my aquarium. Um, I just want to let you know and show you that I set up a 20 gallon long nano. The reason for this is because the bubble algae has completely taken over my 75 gallon. And for some reason, ever since my 75 gallon has been set up, uh, I cannot keep those water parameters stable. For those of you who have been with me since I started the reef hobby back in 2007 with my 10 gallon nano, you know how amazing my 10 gallon nano was. And I couldn't get my 75 gallon anywhere near that close to being amazing. So with my rat water parameters being all wackadoo all the time, I'm starting to lose some coral. I've got only one SPS, two SPS left, and one of them is almost on its way out. One of my favorite ones too, that pink one. My LPS seem to be doing all right, but I'm gonna move everything coral-wise into this 20 gallon long, and hopefully I can then manage the bubble algae a little better, because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my 75 gallon up, but I'm gonna cover it and keep it dark for a very long time. I tried the emerald crabs, no luck so far. Um, I might keep it for a fowler, we'll see. I'm really hoping that this 20 gallon long ends up being a lot like my 10 gallon nano. And if that's how it is, that's how it is. Um, I love nano tanks. I was really looking forward to having a 75 gallon that was way bigger for a reef tank. For some reason it's just not working out. I don't know if it's because I made all my own rock with the concrete, the Portland cement. I followed all the directions. I followed all the rules. I used the right materials, but I can't even get Coraline to grow in that tank. Um, so we'll see what happens with this 20 gallon long. And it is down in my basement. It's in my studio. Um, you might see some spray cans right there. Do not worry. They're just on the workbench. I'm moving everything. I'm moving all my work stuff um, eventually. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not doing any kind of spray or any painting around the tank. So no worries about that. I'm not, I'm not concerned. Um, I will be hanging my Kessels above here. Um, at least two or three of them. I don't need all four of them on there. Um, but that's where that's where I've been at. I've been battling the bubble algae for a very long time. And now it's just all of a sudden exploded. And I use RO water. I use really clean water. Um, like I said, the corals hardly grow at all. Some of them don't grow at all. Um, my 10 gallon nano was on well water, heavy with lime. Everything exploded in growth. I'd have corals, SPS corals grow five plus inches over the course of one summer. You all know who have been with me since the beginning what that tank used to look like and how well it grew. For those of you who are newer surprising me, go back to my first few videos. So I'll keep you guys up to date on this. Thanks.